Yo guys, welcome back. You're with Fonzie, and today we're just doing uh, two quick little videos. Uh, this first one is, uh, well, basically how not to spawn camp. So uh, we've already driven out in our Leo to uh, 2K. Uh, unfortunately, we only got the uh, one kill, and you see uh, Titan M right there. He's um, the guy that actually killed me in my Keller. Um, and then we've got a T64B up here. So we uh, dispatch him quite easily, uh, and then we move on to the T10M. Now, uh, yeah, so this is my second drive, and it is a backup, and if you look at the mini-map, you will see there is absolutely, we, we've been overrun, there's guys everywhere, and they're so focused on the spawn, um, for guys that are actually spawning in, um, predominantly to the, to the north, the northern spawn, so I decide, well, fuck you guys, I'm not going to play the objective, I'm going to run around and play arcade, because as you'll see on the minimap now, when you're spawn camping, you also get marked on the map. So it's a disadvantage of you if, if you choose to spawn camp, you get marked on the map. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to play the objective, I'm going to flank around and see how many of these fuckers I can get, because... You know, it is at the end of the game, and, you know, it, it is what happens at the end of the game. You, you do spawn camp. But I'm like, you know what? Fuck these guys. Like, this is a shit map. I, don't, I hate this map. It's It shouldn't be in the map rotation for high-tier tanks. It's too small. And I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just going to run around and blitz these guys with my um, A1A1. So, yeah, another guy here. We spot him. I don't know why that didn't take him out there. You'll see it actually uh, turned his ammunition black, but... um. Yeah, it didn't kill him, uh, but then, yeah, we, we pull off that second shot, which uh, knocks him over. So, yeah, um, and this is really what it is, like, at the end of the game like this, if, if you do get a chance to, um, you know, spawn in a backup or, or, or something like that, you can, it, it's almost like playing arcade. Like, they're all marked on the map, you know exactly where they are, basically, and it's just a matter of spotting them. And, um, yeah, so we spot another guy here in a, um, T62, so we uh, basically wreck him with that first shot and then we go for the ammo and um, take him out so yeah like um, unfortunately um, the next guy he, he actually <laughs> cottons on to what's going on like we've got four kills now and that's purely off spawn campers um, but yeah this this guy sort of cottons on to what's going on and um, yeah as soon as we drive over the ridge here we get axed um, which is unfortunate. I would have liked to have taken out the other two guys that were still there. But uh, we spawn back in their backup, and straight away there's a T64 Bravo over here. So we uh, find him eventually. Um, I'm like, where the hell is this guy? Oh, there he is. So, yep, nice underplate shot there. And take him out. Uh, this is basically the end of the game, and we netted six kills with. <laughs> First place with uh, six of those, kill uh, five of those kills being um, from spawn killing. So yeah, uh, here's our next video, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna briefly stop because I'm mid edit and I'll speed this one up. Basically, it's just a nice little drive out. It's an ace drive out. Uh, we do a little bit of sniping um, and then we end up getting a couple of kills at the end um, towards uh, the, the the end of the game. Guys coming in off the spawn. We're not actually spawn camping. We're still like a fair way from it. But hey, that's okay. Uh, I'll join you back in a bit. So here we are back now guys, we've got to our little snipey spot and basically um, we're going to try and take on a few uh, Challenger Mark 3s, I think they are most of these guys. Um, we know um, just from purely playing this game a lot and knowing from point A to point B, we know uh, this distance is 1600 metres. So we start there, uh, there's a Chieftain right there, we get a lucky bounce off our uh, turret roof there and we get a good hit on that Chieftain. Um, there's, I think there's actually three of them up there, um, so that was shot was a little bit low. Um, so we end up like sort of just basically playing cat and mouse with these guys. Um, I know I've definitely got the pen to basically shoot all these guys anywhere I want, so it doesn't matter where it hits them, it's going to pen them. So I'm confident in that fact. It's just basically timing as well, um, trying to get my timing so as soon as they fire, trying to come up and uh, fire. So you see there, straight through his turret cheek, taking out his gunner. Uh, that guy reverses off the uh, feature. Um, but there's, so there's the guy we're shooting at, uh, there's a guy to the left, and there's also another chieftain to his right. So I'm like, mm, I might just reverse out of here for a bit and uh, see if we can um, spot what's going on down in Charlie, because you'll see there, Charlie's been capped. 
Uh, we have no teammates anywhere near Charlie, so I'm thinking, well, they might be going to try and push up this uh, uh, feature here uh, to our 12 o'clock. So decided to have a quick look, um, keeping low, obviously, uh, on the feature so we don't um, silhouette ourselves to those three chieftains. Uh, we have a bit of a quick look around. There's, there's nothing much going on. Like, um, I, I can't see where they are. They've obviously, the guys that are capped there, sometimes they'll keep proceeding along the uh, riverbank there and you, you can sometimes get a shot of them like that, but um, apparently not. I pop smoke, just uh, as a little bit of a deception plan there, um, just in case something is coming up. And uh, we go back to our uh, sniping position to uh, see if we can uh, get a couple of more shots at these chieftains. Um, and also, if they've decided to push to Bravo, they'll use, there's a, a lovely re-entry or um, uh, for a better, better use of a word, like there's a big gully there um, between sort of that runs uh, sort of north northeastern between uh, Bravo and Charlie. It's a, it's a good area to push up through if you've ch capped Charlie. So I'm thinking, yeah, well, if they don't push this feature I'm on, they're probably going to use that re-entrant or uh, gully um, to, to go up to Bravo. So we keep looking around, um, and then eventually we do see um, a couple of guys. Um, but not before we uh, have a couple more shots at this cheap than I think I do. Oh, no, there we go. There's a... Uh, Centurion Mark 10 uh, in the open, so uh, that's that sort of gully there I was talking about. He should, if if he was using that gully, he would have been a little bit more to his left, but um, that's okay. So we get a nice little shot here to take out his engine, um, so that disables his uh, ability to actually uh, escape us. We're taking fire, I believe that is from um, one of the chieftains on the ridges still. Um, so I retreat back, see if I can't spot them, see if I can see where the, the fire is coming from. Um, it eventually, it is coming from the right side of that ridge to, um, you know, the, the right Centurion, uh, sorry, the cheap end I was talking about. We know that um, Centurion's still there, so we put another shot into him. Uh, it's a good hit. Um, there's an assist from one of the chieftains before we were shooting at. Don't know why that didn't uh, destroy him there, but whatever. Probably some bad gunnery from my behalf. So there we go, uh, finish off that uh, Centurion Mark 10. And then we try and spot this other guy. We see him there, just slightly uh, slightly right, there he is now. Get my bearings on him and um, pull off a nice little shot here at 1600 meters, just, just over. Um, and we get a nice, nice, nice shot here. So you just drive straight into it. Um, and that's, that's yeah, all she wrote for that guy. So there's their second kill. Um, we see a, a, another Leo down there engaging something. So we're looking around. Um, it's not up there. That chieftain's now down. Um, but I know there's another guy around here somewhere. So we see um, the mark on the minimap. So I, I try and spot him. Eventually we see it. It's a uh, variant of the M60s. So <laughs> with our sights still on um, 1600 meters, we, um, yeah, um, what do you call it? Uh, whatever. Yeah, we killed the uh, M60. So anyway, we pushed down to the cap. Um, so the game's almost over now. Uh, there's another Leo down here, so we decided we we're going to help him do a little bit of capping. Uh, we get the cap. We uh, take fire, trying to see where it comes from. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, there it is. He's got a hit. Uh, unlucky, he's only taken out a track. So that's another uh, Centurion. Good shot, taking out his gunner and driver. We know we're going to reload uh, quicker than what he can replace his gunner. So... No fear there, take out his cannon barrel, um, and for some reason he tries to fire and gets axed. Um, spot another guy up on the hill there, he takes a shot at us, we have a good hit, and that's all she wrote. So uh, yeah, this will be the ace, and that's all I've got for you guys at the moment. Uh, as always, stay classy, I hope you enjoyed the video, and Fonzie out. Cheers guys.